yeah, I'm that chick who's going to bring you a lot of knowledge that is not applicable to your everyday life, and you're going to hate it. A lot of guys don't understand why girls wear makeup. I can't tell you why girls wear makeup psychologically, but I can tell you who to blame. This could be a mistake. Because we're going to show you the before and the after of when this chick over here does my makeup. Mm -hmm. The beginning of makeup started out with oils and perfumes that the Egyptians made to make themselves smell better. Because for some reason they thought that keeping good hygiene was a good thing. Egyptians used henna techniques in order to dye their lips, cheeks, and nails. The lined eye that the Egyptians are so well known for was actually made using coal liner. Coal liner back then was made out of antimony, burnt almonds, lead, oxidized copper, okra, ash, and malachite. <laughs> coal liner wasn't just used to be aesthetically pleasing. The Egyptians believed that using coal liner not only would help reduce the glare of the sun, but would restore bad vision and cure eye infections. Egyptians were the only people that used makeup. The Chinese in Japan were also developing their own kind of makeup at this time as well. The Chinese had an interesting sort of definition of beauty around 1500 BCE. They thought that being pasty white was really pretty and that taking off all your eyebrows was really hot too. Another thing that they would do is paint their teeth gold and black because for some reason they thought that they were gangsters even back then. Like the Egyptians, they also used henna dyes to dye their skin and hair. Around 1000 BCE, we start seeing the Greeks using makeup. The Greeks, however, unlike the Egyptians, didn't believe in good hygienic health and didn't bathe every day. This is why there were wigs, because they had disgusting, oily hair. Eventually, the Greeks decided to invade Egypt because everyone likes invading everyone. It just sounds like a good time. The Egyptians had 3,000 years of making perfume under their belt, making them superior to the Greeks. When the Greeks invaded Egypt, Egypt was like, hey, I really don't like you guys because you're going to use all of our oils for sex and stuff. An example of this is Kifi. By the time of Alexander the Great, perfume got really freaking popular and so did makeup. By 300 BCE, makeup had spread, and Iraqi women started wearing coal pencil too. It wasn't so much for the fact that it could reduce sun glare, it was because they wanted to protect themselves from the evil eye. Rome. Just like the Greeks, Rome started using all of Egyptian oils for sexual endeavors. Another reason they really liked oils is because Rome is full of so much plague that it by having oils everywhere, it just made things smell better. Elizabethan England in the 14th century thought it was really cute for women to have red hair. Not only would they dye their hair, but they put raw pieces of meat on their face in order to prevent wrinkles, and they would put on egg whites. Lots and lots of egg whites. By the 15th, 16th century, all of the aristocracy in Europe was basically wearing cosmetics. Even though everyone was starting to look a lot better because they were covering up their faces with a bunch of paint, a lot of people ended up dying because of all the arsenic that was put into face powder. 17th through 18th century, cosmetics were available to everyone, and the only people who did not wear them were the poor people. Red lipstick and rouge was also used to suggest that people were happy and healthy and fat. By 19th century, France had finally developed some really healthy habits, like using zinc oxide instead of arsenic in face powders. Different types of sulfides were still used in eyeshadows and redeners. Also, people would put belladonna in their eyes so that they would sparkle. The reason I thought that this was smart, since now we know belladonna kills. When America realized that it could make money off of cosmetics, they allowed women to wear it. This was around the 1920s. By this time, makeup was finally wearable without dying. Yay! And I'm also done! Now I'm done. This message was brought to you by a video magazine and Rochelle and me. So now you know why women wear makeup. Because we like looking like whores and we risked death in order to get to where we are today. It's true. I'm going to wash my face now.